Hello, my name is Artis, and this is a quick instructional video on how to use ArcGIS field maps. So this app is located here. It looks like this, um, and it's called ArcGIS field maps. So we're going to go ahead and open that app. Um, so it's going to display all the maps that are available. Um, the two on the bottom are pre-downloaded maps. So those maps are available offline. Um, that means that you can go out into the field and have a map area that you can use and then um, you can place your information on this map and then you can go back and you can sync the map, pardon me, sync the map and that will upload any data to your map. So. We're going to go ahead and use the online map called Town of Comox Invasive Species Map 2023. And while that loads, I will tell you about how it's taking us right to my location, which is not in the town of Comox, it is in the town of Courtney. So as we zoom out and wait for it to load, we will see the town of Comox and the study area, which is outlined in red. So this outlines the town of Comox municipal border um, and the green boxes are polygons within this red area. The study area are the municipal or regional parks of the town of Comox. So for the purpose of this video, we're going to use Brooklyn Creek and one of the parks here, maybe Mac Lang Park. I'll just show you some of the features of this. When you click on the blue line, Brooklyn Creek, you'll get a little pop-up here that shows you what exactly is there. So you can click, book, click Brooklyn Creek and it highlights the creek on the actual map for you. You can also click McDonald Wood Park and that will highlight McDonald Wood Park. Whereas if I click this one, it'll highlight Mac Lang Park and it will highlight the whole area so you know where you are. Realistically, when you're in the field using the um, app, you will be, your location will be close by or within the polygon. Um, but since I'm in the office right now, it's obviously not showing up. So if I were out there, I would click the little blue dot and it would bring me to my location. But since I am not, in Mackling Park right now. I have to move it all the way over and wait for it to load. And I can either put a point down this way by clicking invasive species point, update point, or cancel, discard feature. I can just press and hold on the map lightly and then I can say collect here on the drop pin and Let's say for the purpose of this video, I'm going to create an invasive species polygon of Himalayan blackberry because I know that's pretty a common one in these parks. So you're gonna add a point, move around, add another point, move around, add a point, move around. Realistically in the field, you would be physically walking around the patch of Himalayan blackberry. Unless it's very dense, then you can just um, give it your best estimate. But here we go for our feature. We're gonna say that's our patch of Himalayan blackberry. And we're gonna go into the drop down menu. And conveniently, Himalayan blackberry is the first one on the list. But there are several other ones um, that occur within parks or are listed as high risk invasive species or noxious weeds on the government of BC and within the town of Comox. But we have Himalayan blackberry. We are going to pull it mechanically, let's say, instead of a herbicide treatment. So mechanically pulling Himalayan blackberry. And then the park name is Mac Lang Nature Park. The surveyor name, we'll put my name for now, artist, done. The date and time should automatically take you to today's date and time. Great, and then any comments. So I'm gonna say test because I'm not physically in the field and I cannot field verify that there's Emily and Blackberry here. And then in the top right corner, you're gonna hit submit. And that's gonna 
upload this polygon to ArcGIS Online, and now you have a known occurrence of Himalayan blackberry, which was mechanically removed today at 2.30, and um, you can go back next year and see if there's an occurrence of Himalayan blackberry, if it's shrunk, if it's not there at all, etc., in your long-term monitoring program. So right now we have it as red, but maybe next year it could be adapted to be yellow polygon, so you could show decrease in infestations. So let's put down another one. Let's say we walked over here and we found a point, just one singular plant of, uh, come on, it's not working for me. <laughs> Collect here. Let's see, we found one singular point of uh, spurge laurel. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to look around. Oh, can't find it. I'm going to Google it in the search bar here. Spurge laurel. There we go. Also called Daphne laurel. Update my point. Treatment method. Mechanical pull. They don't treat that with herbicides usually. And I think we're in Orchard Park now. Just there. Surveyor name. Artist. Done. Date and time. Today. And comments. Test to done. Submit. Oops, so my accuracy jumped a little bit there. If you were in the field and it jumped like that, you would just want to edit your point. So you edit and then move your tracker to where you actually want to be. Let's say it's actually there. Update point. And then you would submit. Sometimes the GPS accuracy jumps around a bit. Um, there's not much to do about that, and people that are going out in the field should be able to work within a couple meters of accuracy. Um, there's also a line feature, so let's move over here to McDonald Wood Park. Let's say I want, I see a line of uh, thistle in a ditch. If it's not quite a polygon, you can make a line out of it. So add a point here and a point here. Now I have a line of thistle, and then you would fill in your variables here. Um, I'm going to cancel that, though. Discard. Um, so that's a quick how-to. Um, yeah, up here in the top right corner, there's also a layers field where you can uh, use the markup feature or turn off layers on and off, um, depending on what you're doing. Um, the markup feature is a good one to know. You can, you can't do it that way, oops, wrong. Cancel. You can go here and go markup. Let's say there's something you wanna bring back um, into the office to ask about from your somebody. You can put a little marker there and make a note that says uh, check park or, or check invasive species here done and then you'll have a little thing to check out when you get back um, that just makes it easier when you're back in the office so yeah that's how you use that um, there's also a measuring tool if you're not quite sure how big an infestation looks like if you are in a pile of blackberry and you can't quite make it into the bush and you estimate it's about five meters you can add a point here and add a point five meters away and see if that's pretty accurate. That's 36 meters, so not quite five. Um, but yeah, um, it's another tool you can use. Um, yeah, so if you were in the field and you didn't have Wi-Fi, you would then go uh, back, and when you got back to the office again, you would... Uh, not reload the map, but you would click sync and all of the data would be uploaded to the internet, to your online ArcGIS map, which can then be manipulated by um, your GIS technician or whoever needs to manipulate that data. Anyways, I hope that helps. Thank you.